Hey YouTube, it's Adrian. Just before we get you to this video, do me a favor and head over to pageantlaunch.com. We are starting the world's first dedicated pageant review site, and I would love for you to join our launch team. All you need to do is put in your email address. It's completely free. We are looking to make a pageant industry that is safe, transparent, and fair. I know it's like that most of the time, but over the last year, it's become very evident that it's not like that all of the time. So head over to pageantlaunch.com, put in your email address, and let's get you to this. Hey everyone, it's Adrian from The Pageant Project um, and welcome to our podcast. We have Danielle and Lauren as usual and our special guest for the second time, Maria Torres, who's Galaxy Pageant CEO. She's having a bit of an issue with technology um, before <laughs> we jumped on. Maria, welcome back. How are you? Sounds like things are a bit stressful at the moment. Uh, hey guys. Uh, yeah, just a little stress, just dealing with stuff with my little my little doggy Chanel and stuff like that and not having my iPad type of thing. What has what has happened to this iPad? What has happened to this iPad? Like, yeah, I don't know. I think it decided to abandon me. I, I have no <laughs> idea where it is. Uh, it's it's gone. I mean, we I oh, no. reported it already. The serial number and. And it's offline so did she leave it somewhere or was it in your home no i took it with me i took it with me to the galaxy bl christmas party and um i remember bringing it in because we were going to use it for music um and that's the last time i've seen it and my my hope is that i actually did not bring it with me and my menopausal brain is thinking that i brought it with me <laughs> And that I shoved it somewhere, and I still can't find it, even though I've turned my house upside down. Um, that's my goal. Like that's my hope. I'm secretly hoping that I was a little mental and can't remember where I put it. So okay, or well, Ariana's got it, and she's playing a prank on you. Well, if if she is, this is the longest one she's pulled off, and <laughs> I would be very. I would be very concerned about her safety at this point. <laughs> I was going to say, you, you need to have good timing with these things, and I think it's been going on a bit too long for a prank, but your iPad, Maria, has become legend. We were on one of these podcasts on another episode, and for some reason we were talking about your iPad, so it become, oh, yeah, New Year's resolutions, and, you, you know, that was you. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah. God, I think my brain might have become menopausal too. Um, now, guys, just I, I know a lot of you are tuning in, and I'm assuming that a lot of you, I mean, are hoping that if you're in UK Galaxy, you're well and truly on track. Um, but obviously, if you have any questions for, about Galaxy or for Maria in particular, put them in the comments now, uh, because Maria doesn't actually have a stand for her phone. She's having to hold it up. And if you've ever held your phone up for any extended period of time, you know how painful it can become. Um, I was streaming. Uh, Miss World for uh, Miss World prelim finals and I was holding my phone up for an hour and by the end of it I couldn't feel my arms it was just horrible so if you have any questions about Galaxy or coaching or anything like that I know Maria said she has a few spots left um, put them in the comments and I'll pass them on to Maria and at some point obviously I still want to get Holly Perry on as well obviously because I wanted to interview her but I think she'd be great on the podcast oh so, yeah uh, yeah, I just have she's she's hard to nail down that woman. She's always all over the place. Um, but before we get into it, uh, Danielle and Lauren, I'll get um, Daniel. Why don't you catch us up with how your week's mm -hmm. been? Yeah, so just kind of trying to sort out my room is one thing that I've been trying to do. I went down to Cardiff this weekend. Um, not really pageant related per se. I was just down there kind of get, it's nice to get out of London every now and then. So mm -hmm. just got out of London for a bit, hung out with my friend Meg. Um, I actually won a eyelash LVL treatment when I was down in Cardiff last time, um, Heather Hopkins PJ party. So oh. I went down and got my eyelash treatment. So I don't even see my lash. 
lashes are only they're not they're not going to be any longer i didn't get extensions but i had them curled and dyed um so that was really nice a- amazing lady and i'm gonna post i'm gonna do a post about it as well because she mm-hmm. was kind enough obviously to do it for free and she did megs as well um for free too so she, she's just so lovely so if you're in the um the cardiff area i'm gonna do a little post on it all can i ask a question um, about that yes your instagram oh. story was that Meg yeah. feeding you the toast or did you feed yourself yeah. the toast? Meg that was Meg me toast fe- while I was having my treatment done, hence why she said I'm so spoiled. Um, we woke up, we went to boxing that morning. So we woke up <laughs> around about nine o'clock. Boxing started oh around God. about 10. So we woke up quite late, so we didn't have breakfast. So we did like a fasted cardio in the gym. So we mm-hmm. went did boxing, um, and she introduced me to HomeSense. I'd never been to HomeSense before. I love HomeSense. I've been to two I've no today. Idea what that is. I've been to three TK Maxes today. Like, I'm addicted. So home I'm fully addicted. Like the home side of TK yes. Maxx. Oh, amazing! Like the candles. Oh, they're so amazing yeah. there. And I'm like fully addicted now. So I've been looking for these baskets for my, um, my dad built me like a storage unit and it takes a certain size basket to fit in. I really wanted great wicker baskets. I managed to find one that fits in. So I'm on the hunt for eight more basically. So I've been driving around TK Maxx and HomeSense to try and find the identical version of it. So that's been my life for the Oh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to find baskets um but yeah meg fed me avocado toast because by the time we got back from home sense um we was good about to have our treatment and by the time meg had finished her treatment it was about two o'clock so we hadn't eaten and then it was my turn to get on the table and have my treatment and right. i was like meg do you want to get lunch on the go then and then um, right. she just i was so hungry and she just fed me it's supposed to be grapes, Danielle, not avocado toast. Ah, uh, but I just needed the avocado. I need something a little bit more filling. Fair enough. Um, okay, Lauren, how's your week been? Fun. I worked, and then Thursday I went to see my sponsor, Dr. Zara Northley, mm-hmm. and I had uh, worked onto my bottom teeth, so we just put some little blobs on there so that my braces move them into place and then we spoke about what's next for my top teeth and then we went to Taco Bell <laughs> what's, what's better what's better than going to eat hard shell tacos after seeing the dentist I didn't I had a crunch wrap supreme my favorite oh, but there was okay. no Baja Blast and I was gutted, <laughs> so I had a strawberry freeze instead Oh my gosh! I think we should rename this podcast really nice. to like the, so the the Taco Bell podcast or something, and maybe we can get sponsorship because we always sponsored by them. We we seem to mention Taco oh God, they Bell. They should literally sponsor me for the amount. Yeah, the amount I like talk about Taco Bell. I need my own store in Wales. Like I'll gladly like run it. I don't mind. <laughs> I think the only issue is that as much as compete, she's gonna compete in her next pageant. And her dress is gonna have Taco Bell logo. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a head piece. Eco wear. To be honest, <laughs> fashion wear is like a Taco logo. Bell on my head. I was gonna say that oh that, that all works really well, except as much as Lauren talks how much she loves yeah. Taco Bell, I, I just keep talking crap about Taco Bell. So I'd have to probably stop. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, okay. Really good. <laughs> Um, Maria and... hates it. She said it's not real Mexican food, but it's not. It. It's not it's real Mexican. Not. It's well, not. I don't care what article you send me. It's, it's, it's article. It's not... She even researched Lauren? an article. You found yeah, articles. It came up on Facebook. I just shared it with Maria. Yeah, literally, it came up on Facebook. Like voted number one best Mexican Restaurant. food or something. But yeah, I'm like, clearly that was not done by any Mexicans. Yeah. It was Mexicans voted. Edited by me. The website was created by me. Taco Bell <laughs> is the best Mexican food. That's from Ariana. So whatever Ariana speaks is the truth, and I believe everything she says. I am. Um... <laughs> Y'all both should, but you should own stock in that place. I should. Yeah. We both should be partnership and just open up our own Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, Lauren, you were last week talking about how you're going to get Maria to, to cook while she's over in the UK. So, you know, obviously yeah. Taco Bell doesn't quite hit the spot because you still want Maria's cooking. Well, we had the re other tacos, which were really nice. I think it was like Palenque Grill. We did. We did. We had Palenque Grill. That was good. That mm -hmm. was really good. And Marty made chili one day. That was really, really nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So bring Marty to the UK. He can make chili. <laughs> that sounds good. He's coming, but he's not going to make chili. <laughs> Yay. I've missed Marty. I can't wait to see him. Yeah, he's going. Oh, Lauren, did you? Because Ariana has commented. I don't know if this is what you mentioned, but she has commented, Maria, that Taco Bell is the best Mexican food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said, "I'm half I, Mexican. Sorry, I speak guys. On behalf of, <laughs> yeah. behalf of my guys. people." I, I just, mm, yeah, I don't. Mm, okay, okay, let's just move on before we start having another <laughs> argument about food. Yeah, I didn't do anything else except for eat Taco Bell, and I went home. <laughs> Well, for you, that sounds like a dream week. I mean, for other people, maybe not so much, but for you, that's like heaven on earth. Um, Maria, why don't you fill us in with your UK trip? Obviously, it's upcoming. Uh, when you'll be turning up, when, uh, when you'll be arriving, when you'll be leaving, and everything that you've got planned, coaching, et cetera, et cetera. Why don't you fill us in with that? Um, well, the plan is that I'm arriving February 28th. Um, mm -hmm. I've already got appointments. On, I think I have like four or five classes that day, so that's... Wow. I'm on... That's eight hours full already. Um, Jeez. Yeah. So I have about, I, there's over 20 girls that have signed up. So that's pretty good. Uh, and I do, I mean, I have, I, I have plenty of openings. Uh, it's just that they're, they're limited to certain days. So there's certain days mm. where I'm, I'm actually nice and open. Um, but there are limited spots. Um, sure. And uh, l limited days, I should say. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm excited. We have a fun, a fun itinerary planned with the girls that are coming up uh, from over here, some of my queens. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. We have all our Airbnbs booked. Mm -hmm. and, when are you uh, leaving? What's the, what's the departure date? March 26th. Could have stayed till April. Come to Miss Wales. Oh, uh, that would have been amazing. Uh, unfortunately, I can't stay much as of Chanel. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And other than that, um, I just need to get back to make sure that her diet is working properly and that you know, she, I have to take her back to the vet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Maria, in terms of people who <laughs> would want to uh, get coaching with you, is the best way just to drop you a message? Go to my runway with Maria page and, um, and give me a message, leave, leave me a message. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Um, let's switch focus to obviously UK galaxy coming up and it is guys, how long is it away? Maybe two months. Two, two months and a bit. Daniel, do you know the exact? I think it's something number? like seven weeks now. Seven. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. So, Daniel, why don't you fill us in with your Galaxy prep, how it's going, and then, okay. then we'll take it more a bit more general. How's your preparation going? It's good. I have four gowns in the running for my final gown. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I've seen these four. Uh, you, There's four think, evening gown rounds. It's fine. I think you've seen two, maybe. No, yeah. no, like, no, Danielle, you just need a backup. Just save your money. Save more later. I mean, I, one... I, that's exactly what I told her. I'm like, don't spend money. Like, you have uh, great gowns. Yes. Don't I, spend I, unnecessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, well two of them I already have and then two are new and you've seen those okay so I've sent you pictures um so I've got four to choose between and what I'm gonna do is I think when I come and train with you Maria I'll just bring all four and whatever you say goes <laughs> but I, I need to try them all on and walk, walk 
back in them and see how I feel and see what, what makes me feel the best. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I won't know until I've tried all four on consecutively. Um, I'll have a good understanding the two that are coming once I've tried them on. I'll know instantly if they're in the running or not once I've tried them on. Um, but I've got to come thinking about fashion wear is being made currently. I'm getting hot because that probably won't be ready <laughs> until like two weeks before the final, possibly. Uh, mm-hmm. It's Chinese New Year and I'm having it made in asia chinese new year holds up everything um mm. and so it's thai new year as well so asia's celebrating all the new the years ho- yeah mm-hmm. the whole of asia is just like goes into lockdown so yeah. i'm praying that that fits if not i have bought a backup which if my fashion wear works out and it's great and my backup i can wear for opening round it's a bit much for opening right. round but it's it's a really fun outfit, and I'm really glad that I bought it. Um, swimwear, I'm still kind of stumped on swimwear. I do have a bikini, um, but I'm not 100% sold on it. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't have any interview wear. But I, I've got tons of clothes in, in terms of interview wear. I've got a red jumpsuit that I really love running. I also I really like the idea of wearing a white jumpsuit don't know why i shouldn't be spending more money but i'd really love a white jumpsuit just because i think it looks really clean and fresh and (laughs) so um so i have been looking around for possibilities for interview wear and then obviously i need a wardrobe for um the saturday and the sunday as well but i'm just gonna stick to wearing dresses i already have before anyone shoots me for buying yeah whatever one you don't wear on stage you're wearing the the rest of the weekend at least you'll get a wear out of them yeah well, I, I want more like, well, those ones will have trains, so I don't really want to wear them to what, because everyone is, is tight in there when they fit everyone in, so I'd rather have like a minimal train so that it doesn't get ripped. Um, mm. So then, And then it's thinking of kind of makeup looks. I've booked Kirsty Martin for the whole weekend um, <laughs> just because she's just fabulous and uh, we've been kind of, I've been looking at looks, what I can do. I want to do more colour than just in on like the Saturday and the Sunday. I'd love to have like a, a blue look or something. So it's kind mm. of thinking about other things throughout the week as well, not just the final night. It's the Saturday and the Sunday as well, having looks. I shall be doing my own makeup that. because I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I babe, I'll be doing in- my own hair and makeup. <laughs> so will I. I'll be doing my own hair and makeup too. I'll do yours, Adrian. Come to my room and we'll get I'll ready to together. Uh, I will do a deal. Yeah. You help me with mine and I'll help you with yours. <laughs> my mum's going to get a hair. We've got a hairdresser. Yeah. Um, I've, I think, I'm not sure what the situation is with Joanna, but I've been begging her to do my hair. Well, Danielle, AG. Joanna is actually watching. watching. She's Joanna, at work, she, but she's oh. trying to watch. So, Joanna, if you do hear this, yeah, obviously, Danielle. I know because it's there's been an ongoing a, there's a theme. There's a possibility. I think there might be. She might be cracking. So she might. She okay. might be able to do my hair. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. But I've been literally like begging out. her. I've been begging her to do my hair because I just love her hair. Um, oh, that's so, true. No. But I, but if I can't have Joanna, then I'm stumped for hair. So I, someone please help a help a sister out. Do you know what I'm, I do? I'm, I just let my hair go really dirty and then just scrape it all back. Scrape it back. Yeah, you know, this is the look I'm going for now. Day. Scrape it. it. I like it. It's very <laughs> geeny. So we went shopping and we got back and we had like thirty minutes to get ready for the pageant mm-hmm. and i went watch this maria and i within 15 minutes i'd done a full face of makeup and hair and i was knocking on her door fully dressed and i was like i'm ready let's go i could not like, believe what? it i was like what what just happened what? i think grand does that to you when you compete at grand no this was they give you like grand. no no my hand oh. galaxy oh. i literally just brushed my hair back like all scraped back and it was curly and all to the back, and I was wearing one of Robin Robin's dresses, and I was like, I'm ready now. I was like, what? I didn't know that was possible. She literally walked in, pulled it. It's possible for Lauren Parkinson. I felt like I was on a game show, and I had to be ready. 
necessity is the mother of invention. When you only have a few minutes, you're gonna that makeup mm. is gonna go on like this. Your hair is mm -hmm. gonna come out like this. And you're, yeah, it's like. Whoosh, <laughs> that's why I work well under pressure. I was gonna say that's why I am the queen of procrastination. Sometimes, if you give me a month to do something, it's not gonna get done. I'm gonna do it until the, the last before, day, or like yeah, the night before, or literally like a couple of hours before it's due, because that way I don't have time to change or rethink anything. Or it's like boom, done. I gotta get this in here. It's gonna get done. And it's done. It's just super stressful. I understand what you're talking about because I have similar tendencies, but that just means you're constantly operating from this place of like adrenaline and it's really draining. Like, I just wish I you know, know but that's get ahead I of the curve a bit. I live off adrenaline. Adrenaline is my best. Oh, I'm friend. exactly the same. I leave everything to my the last minute. My best decisions become reality from adrenaline. Well, okay. Yeah. Everything. I mean, sadly, sometimes I'm, that's just, it's, uh it's how i function and yeah, it's self-awareness and i hate to admit it it's nest but my doctor mm. sure doesn't like it but i was gonna say <laughs> it's not good for your heart it's not good for your hormones it's not good for your health but if that's what you gotta do i guess every now and then but long term I, I wouldn't recommend it uh just on the subject of joanna because you guys have been asked dana has been asking so chloe um chloe lake said joanna is bomb and now joanna has said you've got me danielle i don't know what that means she says sorry just putting out 110 chairs uh so i don't i don't know what that means danielle 110 chairs yeah i don't know she, she's at work it means i've yeah, got her as a hairdresser is that what it means? Because I feel like she would have messaged. Uh, uh, maybe Joanna, if you can confirm, because Danielle is like freaking out right now and very <laughs> happy. So one hundred and ten chairs because she's setting up a school right now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, when... okay. That's oh. what she means. yeah, she's working. Uh... Right. Okay, and then Danielle, just in case it doesn't come through, Chloe has helpfully said, I mean, I tend to just sit in front of her in a strop and complain my fringe isn't going right. And I think Joe <laughs> takes pity on me and creates something amazing. So if she doesn't yeah, come through for you, that that's what you got to do. I was like, Joanna, I want to put a ponytail in my hair, but I can't do it. I can't see the back. I just went to a room and I was like, can you put it in a ponytail for me? <laughs> can you just tie it up, please? <laughs> She was like, do you mm. like it, though? I was like, yeah, I love it. She's like, are you sure? You tell me the truth. I'm like, yes, I love it, Joanna. I'm like, stop worrying. It's it's nice. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, oh, Natalie Paffer said, hey, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Nat. Um, hey, got an Nat. interview coming up with you Hi. soon. Yeah, I can't see anybody's uh, comments or anything, so please don't think yeah, that's that fine. I'm ignoring people or anything. FYI. No, I'll relate them all to you, Maria. So, guys, once again, if you have any questions for Maria, now is your chance. Um, and also, if you have any messages of support, obviously, I'll, I'll pass them on. Um, I did put up a poll um, on the live, Maria, about are you competing in a pageant in 2020? And the options are yes, no, and undecided. So far, 71% are yes, and 29% are no, and no, undecided. Uh, just in terms Maria, of... Sorry. Danielle, was that you? I was just trying to. Was what's just going trying, on? That was me. I was just trying to vote on the poll. And Danielle, <laughs> Danielle was so happy with herself before we went on live because she helped Maria and Lauren with her tech, and then she does that. So you see, all these things balance out. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, just because we, Danielle said so we got about seven weeks before the pageant, and I wanted I think to it's ask. Seven weeks. Around about seven weeks. It could be a bit more, a bit uh -huh. less. I think it's seven. But in terms of seven weeks out from the pageant, I wanted to ask you guys what the preparation or what the stages of preparation should be. I mean, obviously, it's getting fairly close. Mm. But um, I'll go to yeah. Lauren first, and then I'll go to Maria, and obviously, I can circle back to Daniel. But Lauren, from your experience, when you're about seven or seven weeks or two months out, what would you be doing in terms of preparation? What would you like to have definitely had done? Mm. And what are some of the things that you'd be so, working on in the next seven weeks? You obviously need to have all your appearances in your appearance folder. Like it's one of the things you don't want to be stressed. Like the night before the pageant, getting all it. your like appearances that you did ages ago because you won't remember a thing from back then. So mm -hmm. have everything set out, laid out, whatever you need to do in your appearance folder. You really want to be focusing more on what you're going to say in interview or what you actually want to get out. So for me, I wrote, 
I had like a little notebook and I wrote just certain points. I didn't write like a script of everything that I wanted to say because that's not going to be natural at all. I just had like mm. my favorite appearances. So I wrote like a little bullet point for what my favorite appearance was, why I'm doing the galaxy system. And it was just little points, points that I needed to make and that I felt were important to me. Um, and to why I chose to do Galaxy and where my journey started off and in the pageant world. Um, mm -hmm. I was also training like every single Friday in a studio. Maria was on FaceTime to me, making sure my walk was like ready to go for obviously Galaxy Internationals, et cetera. And also I did the same for Grand 2. Me and Maria FaceTimed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So if you are just going to be joining maria for one of the day sessions maybe look into if maria has time maybe booking onto a skype um because i know that to me that was very useful and even afterwards um so if you are successful and you do go to win galaxy mm. maybe you want to brush up on your skills a little bit more so you know look at other ways of training and not just that once a year maybe yeah. ask maria if she can do it via skype that was a and it was also just making sure my wardrobe fitted me perfectly. I know for Galaxy Internationals, we, it was just like the dress was like an impulse buy. And I was like, oh, let me just buy it. Like, I think I bought it like the weekend after I won. And I was like, no, I should have thought about that a bit more. So, you know, I would have done that probably a bit different. Um, mm -hmm. But you live and learn and you move on from it. Um, so, so, yeah, it's just making sure your wardrobe's fitting you properly. And, yeah, just you're not going to trip on stage okay what about um, this grand international what about in terms of interview prep did you do anything for interview prep obviously you were doing runway prep what about interview yeah i just so i did the bullet points um mm -hmm. of things right yeah panic too much it's not going to show the real you it's not going to be natural and also you don't want to like them to ask you a question and that's like it's, and not, it's not you... natural no yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, it's some you'll find that sometimes in interview that you want to tell the judges something so yeah. you don't necessarily listen to the question so yeah. much you just you just Speak. tell them what you want and yeah. you really have to listen and answer to that question you exactly yeah it's a two-way conversation if you so just natural if you're trying to wiggle something in there it's just not going to happen you just have to let and it happen let that nerves. flow nerves are like the most natural feeling ever going into interview one thing i would say is the morning of interview i sat there and watched the real housewives of beverly hills <laughs> because i couldn't be bothered stressing myself out yeah. about interviews so i literally just watched um the real housewives of beverly hills and it calmed me down and then i got to like outside the room and i was like oh my god like i actually watched the real housewives of beverly hills yeah yeah before i went into it like the morning i woke up for galaxy uk and i watched the real housewives of beverly hills lauren <laughs> basically is american Let, let's face it i mean yeah. given what you yeah. like to eat and what you watch you basically are american so that doesn't surprise me um i'm just I gonna circle it, around to and maria it just calms me down it's like my my thing to get me in the zone watch the real housewives of beverly hills Okay, Daniel, let, I, I'm going to bring everyone up to speed with the hair situation. So Joanna has said, got to make that money. Yes, Daniel. I thought our messages the other day confirmed, but no, I am yeah. doing your hair. All right, <laughs> so Daniel will be very happy. Uh, oh, Chloe has said she's a 29% no competing in a pageant. She's got to become a lawyer, which is fair. Uh, and I'll, I'll go to Maria, but Maria, maybe a question first. Now, Zoe Langridge, who I'm not familiar with, but she has asked, what is your most vital tip for someone doing their first pageant this year? Galaxy will be my first. And she's in the Miss, not the MS, but the Miss division. So for someone competing first and their UK Galaxy is their first stop, do you have any tips for Zoe? Um, I would definitely suggest uh, if, if you have no pageant experience at all, is that what she means? She's, yeah. Or is Galaxy, this is her first no, time first doing pageant. This will be a first, first pageant, pageant ever. Um, so he, I would say try to try to get into some runway classes um, mm. or um, because that's going to help you get a little bit more comfortable with yourself um it'll maybe work off a little bit of the 
the the nerves of of getting on stage mm -hmm. and it'll give you it'll give you a little bit of of not i wouldn't say experience but just give you a little bit more uh confidence to be up there and be able to you know compete at your fullest potential um to go to go into a pageant as a newbie is hard enough as it is uh the best advice i can give you again is try to get in some sort of walking experience how to carry yourself how how to walk in your gown how to pose in your swimsuit um because sometimes when i see these pageants on facebook or the lives that you know and i see some of the girls i'm like man if she would just if she would just oh could have runway or, or go go see someone for you know for good runway walking and and mm. definitely good runway walking just because someone's a beauty queen doesn't actually mean they know what they're doing um so mm. there's a difference so and i think yeah. galaxy is such a sisterhood it's also knowing the system and knowing previous queens watching youtube videos you really need to go into galaxy knowing exactly what it's about and the type of girls as well that they have in their system you know they're girls that get involved in their community they're girls that really pride themselves at such a high standard and it's yeah, really we don't we don't have research i wouldn't i wouldn't say that we have a type uh because we definitely had all sorts of winners all nationalities um all sizes all heights mm. um but it's it's definitely about just being prepared in general. Um, have a passion for what you're doing, believe in what you're doing, and bring that with you. Um, bring that with you to the system. Even, even if that's what we're about, it needs to be about you as well. You need to be about that. You need, you need to, to believe that um, and not just pretend to have it just for that system that you're competing for. Because I yeah. see a lot of girls do that also. Um, you know, where it's, they, they go for, they jump from one system to another. And then while they're in one system, that one is like the best system ever. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. It's, and then they go on to the next one. And it's like, Oh my God, this is the best one ever. And it's kind of like, you know, you stop believing okay them at some be, point. It, it's, it's okay to be excited about every system you enter. But I think after a little while, if you're if you're a compulsive competitor or you're you're definitely a competitor, with there's nothing wrong with that. Let me just tell you right now: you can go from sure. pageant to pageant until you yeah. win. Definitely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, but distinguish yourself from from each one. Don't do the same thing for each one. Where dye your hair; it works every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of missing your blonde hair. I sort of am. Do you know how hard this to, is going to get Lauren, to go black blonde? To be honest, Lauren, <laughs> I am a little bit too, but I didn't want to say anything, but I'll I just follow on. Good job. We're putting blonde through it, so that's fine. No, well, that's not the same. That's not the same. We don't want, <laughs> we don't want streaky blonde. No, it's going to be like a nice ba balayage. What do balayage. they call it? Oh, that the fancy bar. hairdo? Uh -huh. Yeah, balayage. just to lighten the ends a little bit, like a yeah. sun-kissed glow to the hair. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Joanna's going to come down and do it for me. <laughs> Just leave it to Joe. Um, Jody yeah. Langoni has said hi, everyone, oh, with the Jody, emojis Jody. with the heart. So cute. We miss you. I love my little Jody. Uh, Maria, just to bring it back to runway training, one thing that I really loved what you and I think it was you and Lauren were basically talking about last time was that you prepare people for when things go wrong. I think that was super important. So when you're walking, if it all goes perfectly, that's great. But if you trip or if a little thing that was supposed to twirl you around start doesn't. You on the wrong foot, you're able to. Yeah, to go how out to of recover that. If from you're that. On the wrong side, yeah, that's, that's what we did. It's quite if a you bit. drop us wrong. Yeah, well, grab it on your foot and flick it back up and catch it. Up. it. Catch it. <laughs> the Venezuelan things do go wrong. Right? I mean, we've seen a lot of things go wrong, and it's about how Just you recover from it. Just watch me on the Miss Grand, Grand Fails video, you'll see everything <laughs> that went wrong with my two walks. If you, if you slip on a bead, how do you recover? Okay, you like, so... Um, I don't know. I carry on walking. Slipping, slipping on a bead in tippy tops, crush a peak. It could be fake.
a disaster. That's what happened to me. There was a diamond <laughs> stuck on the bottom of my shoe, and Not then as a real I stepped one. off. Oh. The like one off, like a massive one off someone's evening gown so it yeah, took but not the, a real the, like... diamond because if i was you no, and there was I a real diamond was. and i stepped on it i would just <laughs> get off the stage and take the diamond i mean you'd make your money back no it was like actually stuck into my tippy tops oh. right. and as i stepped down it, it just caused a slip because it didn't uh, like have that like friction to ouch. the wall and mm. i just like kind of went <laughs> <laughs> so diamonds are a girl's best friend apparently not when they get stuck in your tippy in tops world. <laughs> no uh maria so in terms of if someone is as we said seven weeks out what advice would you have for them in terms of where they should be up to in terms of preparation uh definitely have your wardrobe ready definitely have your alterations uh in process mm -hmm. if if they're not done already um and practice in your outfits be comfortable with them um because as you practice what whatever can go wrong might go wrong during practice mm -hmm. and you should be able to work out any kinks you have with your outfit um i've had girls with maybe their train is way too long for them and it's like you're gonna need to cut about a mm. foot off of this because this, there's no way you're gonna be able to manipulate this on stage mm -mm. it needs to go or this is too heavy. It's not mm -hmm. allowing the dress to flow properly. Or sometimes I have to weight down um, a girl's uh, dress or train. And some of my girls... Or sometimes my change train. their swimsuit like the yeah. day before. You know, but... My swimsuits are always good. Was it, your, it wasn't yours, Lauren. So I had to put quarters in somebody's hem because I had to weight mine. down... That is genius. Oh, wow. Uh, that's really clever yeah. but see this is what somebody that knows what they're doing knows <laughs> yeah. um, tricks of the trade here we go so you weigh you weigh it down with with coins and that way it keeps especially when you have certain hems that tend to flip up when you're walking and mm. then all you see is the lining so we weigh them down with coins mm -hmm. in the hem so that sits nicely on stage there's your That's genius the life hack right there <laughs> so in terms of preparation what what else should they what should the girls be up to so that's wardrobe alterations um and training what about interview or appearances or anything else particular to galaxy uh, well i mean the uh pertaining to galaxy if you know if you want to have if you know appearances are always voluntarily you know they're not they're mm. not it's not mandatory we don't have mandatory appearances we suggest that you make appearances it's available to you for bonus points um but it is not mandatory and it does not mean you're going to win and it doesn't mean that you're not going to win if you don't have any uh but if you have your appearances just make sure that they're you know properly lined out uh laid out for the director uh, if you have i have a form i don't know if if uh holly has yeah. a form holly she does, she does. Mine. um okay. but if you have a form just use the form and have have that ready and and or the judges and then as far as interview just i always tell people just be yourself no one can be you but you nobody knows you better than you if, if you go in there trying to be somebody else or trying to go in there with memorized answers mm. about stuff it's it's not going to flow out naturally it's not going to seem sincere it's just not going to sell you to the judges a judge who is experienced in judging is going to see that as something else he's going to see that as oh well i don't think she was sincere i think she was too rehearsed um, yes you know it's based it's simple simple rules go in there being yourself it's not that hard to go into mm. a room and talk about yourself yourself if you make it overly complicated that's where you're going to have an issue um mm. but again just go in there being yourself and just be your true self mm. um maria jody has also said miss you which is i assume to <laughs> all you guys so uh, we miss you Danielle, in terms of yourself, I mean, obviously you're in Galaxy yes. Prep and you mentioned what, what you've been doing. So do you have anything in particular to add or things that you wish you had done um, differently? 
apart from I the wish alterations. I wish I my stuff sooner yeah. and known exactly what I wanted a little bit sooner rather than later because I am cutting it a little bit fine. But I have every faith that I will be fine. Like, mm -hmm. even if nothing turns up, I have stuff already it's just me being yes. me and wanting to be have new stuff and um <laughs> that's just that's just me it's just ingrained in me i, I, I like think to, everyone knows know, that. bring something bring something a little bit new and a little bit fresh something that's yeah. a little bit different um but like it's not the end of the world if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't come in time because i have got stuff it's fine. Um, what I'm focusing now mainly on, I think it's, it's it's a combination of both Galaxy and it being the new year. My mm -hmm. aim for 2020 is just to get as strong as possible um, and just to kind of get in shape, get back to a point where I can put my bikini on and be like, yes, like, I feel mm. good. You know, I feel like I'm proud of the body that I've worked hard for. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I still, if I want to do a swimsuit or if I want to do bikini. Um, I love swimsuits. I think they look classic. I think they look very elegant. I just love, you know, when you look at the old school beauty queens and they used to wear very swimsuits. So I'm still toying with the idea of wearing a swimsuit. Um, oh, you mean, you mean a one piece? Yeah, a one piece. Okay. So I'm, I'm still toying with the idea, you know, I'm not 100%, but regardless of, you know, what I wear, I just want to feel the the best I can in my swimwear um I was talking to my best friend today and we have been talking for a very long time that we want to do every space camp uh and I need to be physically strong for that so that's something we're looking to do April 2021 so I really want to do every space camp so you know What's I'm starting that? now um you know Everest Mount Everest yeah so base camp is about 5,000. I thought you said space camp. I thought you were That's what I know. thought. I thought you were saying okay, every I space too, camp. I, I was like, a I'm space sorry, camp. Danielle's becoming no, an astronaut. I'm sorry. I'm not <laughs> going to space, guys. base camp. I'm not going to space camp. Okay. I might as I'm probably halfway there going to Everest base <laughs> camp. Base. Um, um, Everest not base. base camp. There we go. No, yeah. So, um... So Thank I'm you, kind Lauren, of I'm that. in the gym <laughs> four days a week. Um, yeah, just kind of getting in shapes for specifically for the swimwear round. Um, like I say, Galaxy celebrates every single body, but for me personally, I want to be of a place where I feel my do. So I am, Absolutely. you know, training really hard. And just please don't have too much butt cheek on show. Uh, yeah, I'll try not. Prayer. So I got, I got a, I got a quite a big booty. So uh, yeah, that needs to be covered. No, you do not. Yo, no, you do not. Oh my I god. I do. Oh I do. God. I don't know where I got it from. It's, like it's definitely my pinky. <laughs> I don't have one of those butts where it's like. I do it's have not a little flat. It's peachy. It's peachy. It's not peachy. Maybe like. A little tangerine but it's <laughs> it's an apricot <laughs> yeah. it's a i want to hear maria's opinion on my butt now so yeah it will be covered don't plum. worry you're a plum i'm a plum <laughs> you're a plum bum <laughs> you got a plum bum <laughs> I've actually lost um, 0.5 of an inch off my butt we didn't check my measurements oh, wow. we compared them <laughs> I just think it's toning. I mean, that, that that's one of the reasons why I couldn't get the dress that I originally wanted. There was an evening yeah. gown that I was so set on, but I couldn't buy it because my bottom was too big for it. So everything else it fitted, but the derriere, it wasn't going to get into that dress. Well, so. clearly, clearly she was abnormally small. On the bottom half. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So... We, we have a dress, it's fine. In fact, I think the dresses might be a little bit too big, but that's fine. I'd rather it be too big and have alterations than it, mm -hmm. it, it yes. be too small. You can always go in. You can't you can't always Come let out. it dress out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what else am I doing now? Yeah, I'm just kind of still trying to do fit in a few more appearances. I feel like I've done a lot in the time that I prep. I mean, I applied for Galaxy um, as soon as I walked off stage last year. Mm -hmm. So I've had a long time to kind of do appearances. So I've, you know, 
I've done a lot of appearances already. So it's slowing down a little bit. Christmas period, I kind of spent more time with my family. Um, there's been a lot going on in my life recently where I've kind of had to spend a bit more time with my family. But the thing um, is, that yeah. that's a good thing about Galaxy Bay. You do understand that you also have yeah, to <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but I do want to squeeze in a few more in the run-up to the final of five one weekend, I believe. So the weekend of the pageant girl ball, I have five appearances squeezed in there. So, um, oh my God, I'd be like not... crash and burn. Wow. Like yeah. Sleeping so, on the floor. So there's like a pageant in the morning. Um, I think it's Miss Rosebud in the morning of, uh, the, it will in the day of the pageant girl ball. Uh, and then it's the pageant girl ball. And then the next morning I'm doing the frosty run which is for the Christa, Christy Cancer Charity. Um, mm -hmm. That was originally supposed to be the Santa Dash, but that was cancelled. And then they changed the date. They rescheduled the date for it. So now it's the oh, day right. after. Okay. And it works out yeah. perfectly because obviously it's, you know, the Galaxy, um, the Pageant Girl Ball is up near Manchester and the run is in Manchester. So I'm up that weekend anyway. So it all worked perfectly. And then oh, wow. Dr. Zara Nortley, she is doing a dance-a-thon the day after the pageant girl ball as well. So if anyone's up for the pageant girl ball and they're sticking around in Manchester the day after, there is an event happening, which is an appearance opportunity. So I'll do the 5K run. Then after the 5K run, I'm going to a dance-a-thon. And after the dance-a-thon, um, Natalie um, Pavat has invited me. I don't know if it counts as an appearance. I don't think it does. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Natalie Pav has invited me to West Ham v Man City. Obviously, she is a presenter for Man City, and I am a hammer. Well, I'm a West Ham supporter, so I will be in the Man City area supporting West Ham. I won't bring my T-shirt in case I get attacked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> quite a, we, you know, we have quite a strong football culture here, and I will be sitting in the city area, and obviously, I support. United. And um, I will be sending you photos from a pool in Thailand. Oh, on don't. And then, uh, yeah, so then I have the, the football afterwards as well. And Natalie's kindly invited me because she knows I am a, a hammerette. That is a lot of appearances so in one weekend. It's our teams weekend. against one another. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maria, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great weekend. Maria, Ariana, I don't understand this comment, but she has said, you, like yo, said. Maria said, and then two pancake stack emojis and crying Maria face. Said what does pancake. <laughs> pancake? What does that mean? What does that mean? I have no idea. Maybe it's a wrong emoji. Ariana, that, that's really expand. confusing. Uh, and Marie said, "What? Like, I don't, I don't even. I, I don't, I don't know. know. You can, I know you can she, clarify. I know, I know my daughter, so I know she wants to insult me, but she's being very <laughs> So I don't know. She's what she, I, don't know, I don't know what she's saying, but we'll figure it out later. Okay. Maybe All she's right. gonna make us pancakes. <laughs> Marnie makes good pancakes." Uh, and Sanani SG, I'm not sure who that is, but they've said, hello, yep. Maria, oh, nice hello. to Thanks. see you. Hey. Okay. Uh, now, as I said at the outset, I know Maria's holding her phone, so I don't want to keep her on too long before her arm falls off and we kill her and she doesn't turn up to the UK. I have a little, so... I have a little box right here now. <laughs> oh, okay, but still. Um, <laughs> what I wanted to do is just uh, before we wrap up, in terms of any particular tips to UK Galaxy, are there any? I know that we've discussed previously Obviously, that it's a black stage, but obviously you three know UK Galaxy well or very well. So are there any particular tips that you can give the viewers for UK Galaxy in particular? I'll throw it to Lauren first because she tends to be on the ball with this sort of thing. Hey, Kate, hey, am I never on the ball? Um... Yeah, on the... Go easy, Danielle. <laughs> One thing to remember is that the stage is carpeted. So if you're practicing on laminate floor in it, the dress is going to be completely different and also your fashion wear is going to be completely different on the stage. So try to par uh, practice in a place that maybe is more carpeted because then you really get the feel for how you're going to walk with carpet with your dress. Because if your dress is just that little bit too um, long, like yeah. mine was for um, UK Power Pageant, I practiced a hall over there and it was laminate floor and so the dress walked fine. But then as soon as I got on that stage, I it kind of folded under me and I was getting a little bit tripped up on it. So I just had to right. kick it, but I like carried on walking it out and I didn't show that it was an issue on stage. Um, 
Another thing is to just enjoy the weekend and never be late because the judges are always going to see you. If you're late to something, it's just not mm -hmm. professional and also have fun. So, you know, time, go for breakfast, make Why wouldn't you want to eat it? Um, drink plenty yeah, of Yeah, and water. also, you'll miss dinner as well. You won't really get a chance to have dinner. So when you come off stage, you're usually starving. Taking and noodles. Yeah, so bring snacks during rehearsal as well. Okay. Uh, beautiful. And uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, my computer just Sorry, said I, in I interrupted uh, Lauren. Go on, Lauren. No, it's mm. okay. My um, MacBook has just shut down, but it's okay because I'm on my phone. Um, and, I mean, if you've got a mother like I do, I usually like text her. I'm like, we're going to be done in 10 minutes. Order me food from the bar and a Coke because you need sugar also. Like, don't, mm. like the one thing I was told by my personal trainer is the time from when you arrive to the, when you're going to be on stage, your body isn't going to change that much. So do not deprive yourself of the sugar that your body needs for the energy and the energy that you're going to have to be putting in. You need to also put things into your body to produce that energy. So like yeah. I always like I text my mom, can I have a Coca-Cola, please, just to keep me going and some water mm -hmm. or some chocolate or something. Because I, 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 I mean, I eat healthy most of the time, but I also need those sugars in my body to keep me going. Um, plenty of sleep. Um, I mean, I know you're probably going to get <laughs> FOMO if people are hanging out really late, but no, if it's your finals night, like, go and get sleep. Maria Listen, that I'm one. not, I don't compete, and I barely get any sleep during pageant time. Yeah, you ne you really need to make sure you get your sleep, otherwise you'll be grumpy and you won't be on your full, like, game for finals day. Or, 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 you'll, have to, or you'll have to take a five-minute break off the stage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you don't faint on stage. If you are on stage and you feel like you're lightheaded, Holly will always say, if anyone feels like they're going to faint, the lights are bright, it gets hot, take, mm. go off stage. I remember I had to do it one year. I think it was like my handover. I was like, I'm just going to go to the back because the door's open in the back. So I went to the back and like got some air, got some water because yeah. there's water backstage and I was fine. But just take that time to go off stage and come back nice. on. No one will think because scoring's done at that point. No one actually mm. cares. Like mm -hmm. it's just waiting to announce who got the awards, who didn't mm -hmm. get the awards, who won. So yeah, my cool. top tips. Very nice, Daniel. Anything to add? Yeah, That's a as lot well already. as uh, well as well as the stage being carpeted, there's also stairs mm. up to the stage. So be mindful if you're wearing a very tight dress. Um, maybe practice going up and down some stairs in it or maybe don't wear a really tight dress that's like a pencil at the bottom um, mm -hmm. otherwise you look kind of awkward because everyone can see you walking up those stairs as well and the stairs obviously coming down the stairs coming mm -hmm. down it's, it's easier going down than it is going up so there are stairs it is carpeted um yeah again it, you need the energy it's a long day and you know it's, it's a, a long weekend a, yeah just it's a long, in general like so you, you really do need to eat your lunch it. um because i know some people are like oh i'll get too nervous i'll feel sick or but you, you know you need you need the energy for the day um mm -hmm. your what you wear for rehearsals is what you're wearing for your interview so be mindful of that as well you don't have an opportunity to get oh, changed okay. Right. So when you're in rehearsals, one at a time, you'll pop out and you'll have a rehearsal. Um, so be mindful of your outfit. It needs to be suitable for both rehearsals and for your interview as well, because there won't be opportunity to change. Um, what else? That's a lot of information we've given people already, so you don't need to have more. I mean, just even that little bit there was super yeah. valuable, I feel. Oh, yeah. Um if you're wearing a short dress like I did for rehearsals for handover, um, make sure that it doesn't rise up and show your butt. <laughs> make sure it's long enough to cover the butt. Because we literally did a dance and had to like put yeah. our arms up in the air. I was like, okay, I'll just put my hands here. 
Yeah, everyone, okay. and there's people sitting to the side of the stage and they're looking up. So if you wear anything mm -hmm. super short, um, wear shorts underneath or reevaluate your wardrobe because those people or can just see wear underwear. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Or to wear yeah. full, full underwear that it, covers. It, yeah. It, mm. Okay, so that's a lot of information there. Um, Maria, do you have anything in particular to add? It's fine if you don't. And also, I know Maria, Maria I believe you always give the audience a bit of a, a, a talk in terms of how the audience and family and friends should behave. And I feel that's really come to the fore quite a lot recently with pageant scandals, should we say, and then people mouthing off. So do you have any advice for UK Galaxy in general, but also just for the audience, the friends and the family? Um, one thing is just make sure your stuff fits properly. Um, I know that we can have little wardrobe malfunctions sometimes, like a slit might be a little too high. Mm. Um, it might not look that high when you're just straight on, but when you're walking, a little peekable here, which is understandable. It can happen, but the make sure your swimsuits fit properly up here. I know last year, the year before, we had a lot of slippage, um, a lot of slippage, uh, a lot of uh, what overexposure, <laughs> over a little, a lot of overexposure last year, um, and I think that a lot of those issues that we saw would have easily been taken care of had you had on something that properly fit you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just really important to, to make sure that your wardrobe fits you properly. Um, other than that, I mean, it's... Have fun. Yeah, have, have a good time. Enjoy the process. If you're new to pageantry, take it all in, learn. Um, and grow. You you take each experience, you bring it with you to the next one, and you grow from it, and you get better, and you keep you know you keep gaining yeah. more knowledge, and you keep getting more into your groove, and you'll eventually discover who you are as a competitor and what kind of competitor you want to become. Um, you want to be. So it's important. To, to do that and take a step back and be able to evaluate the situation that if, if, if you weren't crowned that night, mm. be smart enough to know that directors don't have something against you personally all of the time. Like some people like to think, oh, well, the director doesn't like me. That's why I didn't win. Or, oh, this judge likes the other girl. That's why I didn't win. Oh, well, you know, I saw this judge talking to that girl, and that's why she won. It's mm -hmm. never anything they did. It, they should have won all the time. Um, but no, take a step back. Be realistic um, about yourself, your performance. Don't take anything away from the winner. She was the one that was selected that night. And yeah. you finding excuses for her win and your loss is unfair and it's bad sportsmanship. Mm. Um, you know, so just think about those things when it's that time that night and you don't happen to be called the winner and your families as well. I understand they want you to win. I understand they're going to be upset, um, but it's not the right time I should say, or it's not, it should never be the right time, actually, to throw a fit in the audience uh, just no, because you're not yeah. happy. Do it in your room. Go to yeah, your room. Do it, yeah, do it in your room. I mean, unless, unless you saw blatant, blatant fraud, like literally, which it's almost impossible to, to see. Uh, mm -hmm. But unless you're against seeing that, unless you actually see that happening, don't assume or accuse a director of doing that. Um, until you have the facts and, yeah. you know, we're not perfect. Directors make mistakes. Um, and we, we don't want to change how we do things just because somebody doesn't like it. Um, but again, just take that into consideration when, when you're competing, because it does get around sometimes too what kind of contestant somebody can be. Um, if, you know, some directors will m mail each other, email each other.
there and say, hey, I saw that pageant. Be careful with mm-hmm. this one. She has a really bad temper when she doesn't win or her family is, you know, oh, my goodness type of thing. You know, it 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 goes around sometimes and mm-hmm. they'll start eventually you'll start getting a reputation and not the kind that you want. And you never know, like, yeah. if you do tend to speak out when you're in the audience, there could be a pageant girl that, or a pageant queen that is in the audience that overhears it, and they could be judging, mm. judging you next time if you go to enter any future pageants. Like, you just never know who's going to judge you one day, so best to keep it between you yeah. and a close friend in your room where you feel confident mm. speaking about uncomfortable as well. Like, we all kind of question, oh my god, why did this happen? Why did she win? But the end of the day like leave it a couple of days and you'll soon understand why that happened and why mm-hmm. why she won when the smoke just don't speak clears, out of anger yep when the smoke clears yeah. and and tensions are low then you'll see like okay you know i get it i i can yeah. see why and so forth um you know but just just know that There's you're also not a level of professionalism that to pageantry yeah, like you yeah. have to be professional. At the end of the day, this this is a, it is a hobby. It's also something that people can make a career out of. You, the, mm. You've just got to stay professional and pleasant because no one will want to work with you in the future if you're unpleasant or hard to yeah. deal with. Yeah, yeah, and and nobody will be happy for you when you finally win. No. Yeah. I yeah, always think uh, it's good to have a word with anyone that's um, attending. So if you've got friends or family coming to support you, maybe have a word with them beforehand and being like, look, you know, don't and as well be so vocal opinion. with all of your, you know, because some people are very open with their opinions. As someone that watches pageants, I listen to everyone that's around me. So if people are making like nasty remarks about someone or, you know, just be mindful that everyone is listening to what you say and make sure your friends and family know that as well, that there is everywhere because someone might be saying something about the girl on stage and you might be sitting next to the family of that girl. Yes. So just be mindful about everything. That I've you had say it happen before. Opinions. I've just... been sat by someone who was a daughter of a contestant on stage. And when she wasn't announced as the winner, there was, effing and jeffing and i was like oh my god you're like 14 i was like you can't react yeah. like this like uh-uh. i was like this and i was just like i had to turn around and go mm. zip it mm. well i guess when you're 14 yeah. sometimes you make decisions that that aren't well considered and well thought out uh <laughs> but in terms of i mean because maria just brought up the, the the thing about when the smoke clears and lauren was mentioning miss global um we won't go into miss mm-hmm. global today part, partly because it, we've been on for a long time but also now that i remember we're actually having freya taylor on our podcast i think the week after next or maybe even next week so i think we'll go into that at that point because because obviously she will mm. know as someone who was there, but also there is a lot of gossip flying around at the moment about uh, Global. And I have heard direct correspondence from some of the competitors there that they don't know what happened. So by extension, none of us will know. So just be very careful when you're either passing it on or posting it in public, because as everyone has said already, if someone sees that, that could have really, really bad impact for you. Um, and obviously it looked like the it didn't thing, go down well. The one thing I do want to say though is mm. social media has given everyone a platform to speak up about corruption in pageantry. Um, the, this it's now bringing more of it to light. There is a yeah. lot of corruption in pageantry, even pageants you wouldn't think were. I remember, you know, being at Grand and we were all kind of shocked who the winner was, but no one decided to speak out because at the end of the day, that's their prerogative. I was just there to have a good time. I came home. I had memories that I will keep treasured for a long, long time. Mm. But if you look back into how pageants were in the olden days, not the olden days, but when I before I was born, Right. There was a lot of corruption going on in pageantry. It would just we just didn't have social media to voice the voice the concerns of what was going on. And of course, you know, if a director 
can only get sponsors and that's his way of funding the pageant of course the yeah. director's gonna want to have a say in what goes on in the pageant if he's funding money into it but also that mm. director should then come up with a backup plan just in case the sponsor doesn't work out and he's able to keep the girls safe i always think you need to have a contingency plan when it comes to pageantry and maybe this will give um directors a kick up the butt to um really step up to protect the girls mm. in pageantry and just yeah. create a, an honest environment for the girls because that's all we want is just transparency honesty and your pageant will be successful as long as you keep those morals in check and don't well, let I'm... money overshadow your desire to create this big mm. show for the wrong girl to be crowned because these yeah, girls have spent so money yeah, they've spent you're... money to get there you're 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 compromising your integrity for that and what i don't like about that is that it, it you know we have hardworking directors like myself and holly mm. and um and other directors who would love you know that <laughs> number of delegates in but in it comes system. at a price to have that number of delegates it comes at a price and that is where it's all going wrong is they are being dictated to by the sponsors who should win but it doesn't happen that way unfortunately if, if you want to have a big pageant then your integrity has gone out the window because there's, there's it's like signing a deal with the devil <laughs> i think you've really got to i think you've got to really what's the word vet your sponsor mm. um if they're if approaching if it's, money. If someone if someone is approaching you to sponsor your pageant, you need to question why. Why yeah. do you want to give me money for my pageant? And, mm -hmm. and, and, what, and what do you want in What are your return. intentions? Yeah. 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 So you, yep. And it's a two-way street. You don't have to work with that sponsor just because they're offering you loads of money. You, don't, you can choose to say no, thank you, because you know that it's not right. Mm. And a lot of directors do these, that these pageants that want to build up so quickly and they want yeah. that fan base and they want those countries and those delegates to go and they want this big social media platform that they can create and they will literally just choose any sponsor they will put they can that will throw money at them and well, that is where the issue right lies now, i would love i would love all of that but you know <laughs> I'm not. I'm not throwing. <laughs> i'm not going to give you anything except a good production and yeah. you know, and an and an honest um, of course uh, production or, or outcome, you know, and it is what it is. Um, there's a lot of pageants. And at the end of the day, the you US. choose your judges for a reason. Like you choose your judges because you trust them. So if it takes sponsors or directors to have to step in to choose a winner, then why have you even got judges there? Like you may as well just sit mm. there with a notepad yourself and go, "Yeah, she's one." Yeah. Like, yeah. And if, if you've got a spon someone coming to you with a sponsorship opportunity and goes, I want a seat on the judging panel, you know that they're yeah. linked with a contestant and they're mm. after a seat yeah. on that judging panel to give that the person the, who they're wiggling through mm. to give them a better chance of winning. I do you think just... sponsors, sponsors should be on the judging panel because at the end of the day, for example, like for Miss Wales, I know that they had a sponsor on the judge judging panel last year. Like, of course, you know, if they've put money into it, but I, it, it needs mm. to happen organically. It, like, yeah. it needs, you need to also make sure that they haven't got any ties in the pageant, in like yeah. the pageant that they're judging for. So I do think some sponsors can judge just as long as there's no yeah. ulterior motive going on. We are opening a giant can of worms here. There are a lot of topics that we can <laughs> dive me. into. That's um, my two pence. Don't bring it up at the end. We will, <laughs> we will have to dive into this. I mean, there are a lot of, I think one of the good things is about us doing things like this, I've been getting a lot of messages, I don't know about you guys, about people wanting to address some of these issues that maybe girls felt in the past, as Lauren said, they couldn't voice, they didn't have a venue to voice it, or maybe if they did, it was simply not worth the risk. And I know that I get a, for, I, I've been messaged independently by probably three or four girls from Global, as an example, without me really asking them what happened, they've already told me that it didn't go so well, and we'll just leave it at that for now. Um, and obviously, me being independent seems to be a good thing in terms of getting this information out there. We've already talked about Europe Continental and the giant 
thing the monster that it became and i had a girl actually i didn't tell you this i had a girl message me from rhode island she's only i think 18 and um she said she'd been approached by europe continental to participate and she asked me what i thought and i just said well look at the interview that i did so yeah there are wow, a lot of that's saving one girl from exactly. potentially going to a horrific experience you know it's amazing. Yeah. people are loving the idea of the um pageant trip advisor so we need yeah to get that going. i know I know it's just I, I need to <laughs> I have so many things like I feel like I should do it's just a question of putting um, uh, making some priorities and probably getting some help because I cannot do it all alone but yeah you're not the only one who's reminded me of that so I am cognizant of that but um, I, I, I will we will wrap up because we've been on for a while but these are important topics I think that we have to get into I'm not sure when we can go into them because um, some people may not be comfortable discussing it maybe it's a case that when we meet up in the UK we have a bit of a chat and then we can come back to it but a lot of um big issues there uh, just to wrap up i will say there are a couple of questions here i'll let you guys go into them um after we're done so you can answer them separately but just um sanani has asked about appearances and sendel has asked a question about um directorship i'll let you guys go into that later so i don't hold you on forever but just to wrap up um danielle what have you got coming up for this week this week um Finding more baskets. That's about it. <laughs> baskets. Um, uh, more baskets, because you know I went on my home sense TK Maxx tour today. Oh, I still need right, to get right. the baskets. Sorting out my room. I've got a few <laughs> online campaigns to film. Mm -hmm. I'm working with um, Chloe Atkins making a video, and I need to film for that. Now I've got a nice little light set up now. Um, I can film that. So that's on the cards for tomorrow. I'll film that for her. Chloe, I will get that to you ASAP. Um, and yeah, just kind of, um, I've got a photo shoot with Stacey Clark on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. I didn't need a photo shoot. You know, it's just one of those things. I was just like, She's coming to London. Just She's baller. amazing. Well, no, you you wouldn't say that if you looked at my bank account. So, um, yeah. But Stacey Clark's in London. She, she's based in Swansea. So, you know, she's like four hours away. So the fact that she's coming to London, I was just like, yes. Yep. And there was one spot. There was one spot left. So... Mm -hmm. I just ha I had to take it. It'd be rude to be. not to. <laughs> it would be. It would be rude not to. So, okay. and I love my shots from Charlotte. Um, and you know, but I, I kind of always looking for fresh images. Yeah, of course. And especially to post in the run up before Galaxy. Fair enough. Lauren, what about yourself? What have you got coming up the next week? So I forgot to say I met up with the Miss Wales girls from North. North Wales on Sunday we had brunch and then mm -hmm. we just ended up talking for so long so we made some plans and a few of us are going to the Welsh Women's Aid Ask Me training day so it's to become trained in more towards like spotting the signs of domestic um, mm -hmm. so that's something a few of us are doing and then also on Saturday Dante <laughs> He was he's and been then, whining. Sorry, I had to let him in. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Saturday we are walking up Mulbamau. I butcher the name because I just can't speak Welsh properly. I was going uh, to say I there. can't help. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I don't recognize just... that one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just down the road from my house anyway. So we're walking up there just as something fun to do. We just decided that we should meet up more often and really get to know each other before we get to the finals and know nobody. And we're just like, hi. So, yeah. And then well, we've arranged a have, sponsored walk up have, Snowden. You have to make sure that the weather is nice for when we get there. <laughs> that's, your only, that's your only job. Like your only job is to make sure the weather. Uh, it was minus three this morning. My car was like uh, iced and uh, frozen. Frozen. Hell no. frozen. My car was and my mom frozen. Went outside in her, De she went outside in her pajamas and no, she had a bag with hot water and tried to do that trick and it didn't uh -huh. work. That can shadow windscreens, <laughs> yeah. can't it? Yeah, if you pour if you boiling the water. If you pour the kettle straight onto the. Like, yeah, oh, we didn't pull the kettle. It. it was in like a bag, in like a bag, and then went like yeah. this. Oh, oh I'm okay. like, wait a minute. That would literally cause you could cause your windshield to crack. Yeah, yeah that's what I, I mean. Some people, 
I've seen it here. They they pour the kettle on, they leave it to rest until and it's warm, it. and then they pour it over. Okay. And then you might as well just so, yeah, fill up a bucket. She went outside in her slippers and her pajamas and did it for me whilst <sighs> I was getting ready for work. I feel oh, that. I'm so um, spoiled. I mean, Heather was Heather Hopkins was talking about how her mum had a flamethrower to get rid of the weeds, so yeah. I feel like that might be a good solution to <laughs> ice over cars. Oh Just get the flamethrower out. <laughs> a gentle flame, flaming, flame grilled. Well, I actually broke my window the day, like on the weekend, because it was iced over, and I thought I need like to clear my side window so I could see when I was like coming out of my drive. Of and course, yeah driving i thought i'd put the windows down and then bring them back up so the ice would mm, go yeah, yeah. Um, but instead it got like you know the um the seal mm. as i was bringing it down it went inside the thing yes <laughs> so my dad had to come and like get like one of aria's spoons or my niece's plastic spoon and like fish out the seal out. but when you wind it back up doesn't the seal come back up with it it was stuck. It was so yeah, far in. It was just stuck. It froze. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're like, really so making stuck. me look forward to coming to the UK. I mean, you can probably see behind me just how bright it is. And bear in mind, it's only 9.30. It's going to get warmer. Don't worry. Is yeah, it going to be 30 like, degrees and sunny? By the time you come. I'm coming from 30 degrees and sunny. I'm playing tennis today. I feel like it's not going to... Asking it to be 30 degrees is a bit much, and we're not well, talking yeah, Fahrenheit that's here. That's gonna be, it's March. Very rarely yeah. we hit 30 degrees. I think the hottest we've had is maybe like 33, and that's at a push. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, sometimes we have snow in March. I heard yeah, that too. We have a, yeah, quite. It's good some snow. Yeah. We've had snow in March before. When I trained for the marathon... I was running in snow, and then a month later, I, it was the hottest uh, marathon, <laughs> London marathon on record. So I was training and then running the heat. So potluck. Mm. Heat. So uh, good luck, guys. <laughs> thanks. Maria, what have you got coming up in between now and when you're coming over to the UK? Or going over to the UK? I'm not there, so going over. Um, to be honest, I've not been focusing on a lot of stuff lately just because my dog's been really sick um sure. so i'm just trying to get her medical situation um you know situated uh before leaving and hopefully she's doing better and if not then decisions will be made um but we're trying to get all of that before i head over to the uk right that's understandable Okay, well, let's leave it there because I've been going for a while. I'm going to thank everyone for watching and um, we'll speak to you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you so Bye. much for having me. Bye. I know it was last minute and I don't have my little stand for my phone. My iPad is missing, so I, I had to do this from my phone, from my bed. Um, so I apologize, but I guess, I mean, it is called pageant in pajamas, right? Mm -hmm. And the show must go on. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. No, no apology needed. Always happy to have you on. All right, guys, we will see you next week. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, it's Adrian again. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember to head over to pageantlaunch.com and join the launch team for our pageant review site. All you need to do is put in your email address. Thanks, and uh, speak to you next time.